Hey everybody, this is Carl Hyman from RC Car Action. Today we're going to talk about silicone oil. Now it seems like a simple topic, but it's a little bit more complicated than you might think. Now the reason why we choose silicone oil as opposed to other oils like mineral oil and, and vegetable oil or whatever uh, is it has the least amount of effect by the weather. Uh, it, it, it isn't affected as much by the uh, heat or cold and uh, is the most stable. Now it doesn't mean it isn't going to be affected at all. There will be some slight variances and you will hear of racers changing their oils from time to time when they go to a new track or when the temperature is a lot different than what they're used to, especially if they fly on a plane. Um, so that's what you're going to see. Now that's the start of things. Now if you notice, um, there's a ton of manufacturers that make their own silicone oil. And uh, the most common thing in the United States, which is kind of misleading, is they usually rate it by weight uh, and you know people say hey I'm using 30 weight but that's a little misleading as well now from brand to brand uh, there is variances now the biggest variance is the fact that weight isn't really a scientific measure CST is actually a, a universally accepted standardization for measuring the viscosity of oil now if you look at like a, like a company like Team Associated they have 30 weight now, uh, that's a little bit arbitrary unless you stick with the same brand. Now, if you stick with Team Associated, it goes in five weight increments, sometimes a little bit uh, less, two and a half. And as long as you stick with the same brand, you're going to be okay. And if you refer to other people, say you're using Team Associated, that might be okay. The problem occurs is when you start switching brands and they're not really interchangeable. Now, uh, you know, another common brand is Losi, and these are both great brands, but the problem is. Um, if you've seen out there, or if you're doing any of your own research, you'll find that there's about a two and a half uh, points in weight difference between the two brands, and that's kind of been accepted. Now, associated um, in general is about two and a half less than uh, TLR, uh, but that's about where the similarities um, kind of stop. Uh, you'll see other companies, uh, X ray. Um, Durango, uh, Team Magic, the list goes on. They'll actually rate it by CST. Now this is going to be a lot closer and it's a lot more accepted standardization around the world. So if you look at CST, in this case it's listed 250, uh, it'll give you a better understanding. Now that only gets you so far as well. Now the best thing to do is just to stick with the same brand. That way you know that when it goes in up, up in increments or down in increments, you're going to be pretty safe and there's not going to be as much variance. Now each brand might have their variances in um, quality control, but that's what you're going to, I'm just going to leave it right there because that's, that opens a whole nother can. But um, keep in mind uh, that CST is actually a, a better, I shouldn't say better, but a, a different way to um, go about rating your oils so you can kind of keep track of them. If you want to make it a little bit easier, if you look at the bottom of bottles from Team Associated, they actually will, like in this case, a 30 weight, um, will have a rating of 350 CST. It's written on the bottom. So you kind of get a ballpark. So if somebody else is using a different oil, let's say from X-Ray, uh, and they mentioned 350, this will be pretty close. Um, and it'll get you uh, in the general ballpark. Now, like I said, from brand to brand, there might be some quality differences or some ways of where they measure it might be a little bit different. But that way, it's, it's a little bit easier and a little bit closer when you go um, from brand to brand because the standardization is, is there uh, internationally. Uh, now, things get a little bit easier when you start getting up to um, a thousand weight and things like that, the kind of, kind of things that you use uh, in your diffs. Um, this is where like uh, companies like C um, Team Associated switch over to that CST standardization. If you look like on a, a bottle of 5,000, in this case, uh, it's called 5,000 and it has a measurement of 5,000 CST. Now this helps a lot, especially when you're talking about diffs, because like I said before, there's a zillion different brands. But um, the general rule is to stick with one brand and you'll probably be safe. And if you do need to refer reference somebody else like a setup sheet or somebody's referencing and you don't happen to have that brand, uh, it's better to go off the CST and you'll be a lot closer. 